Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic that's gaining a lot of buzz, lab-grown meat. Imagine enjoying a juicy burger or a tender steak without the environmental impact or ethical concerns of traditional meat. Sounds intriguing, right? Let's explore the science, history, and future of lab-grown meat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting content. First things first, what exactly is lab-grown meat? Also known as cultured or cell-based meat, this innovative product is created by cultivating animal cells in a controlled environment. Instead of raising and slaughtering animals, scientists can grow meat directly from cells. Sounds like science fiction? Let's break it down. Lab-grown meat starts with a small sample of animal cells. These cells are placed in a nutrient-rich culture medium that provides the necessary vitamins, minerals, and growth factors. Over time, the cells multiply and form muscle tissue, the same tissue that makes up the meat we eat. This process mimics natural muscle growth but occurs outside the animal's body. Pretty cool, huh? Let's take a quick trip back in time. The concept of growing meat in a lab isn't entirely new. The first ideas surfaced in the early 20th century, but significant progress came much later. In 2013, Dutch scientist Mark Post unveiled the world's first lab-grown burger in London. It cost a whopping $330,000 to produce. But this groundbreaking event sparked a wave of research and investment in cultured meat technology. Now, why should we care about lab-grown meat? One major reason is the environment. Traditional livestock farming is resource intensive. It accounts for nearly 15% of global greenhouse gas emissions, consumes vast amounts of water, and requires extensive land use. Lab-grown meat could significantly reduce this environmental footprint. Studies suggest it could cut down greenhouse gas emissions by up to 96%, land use by 99%, and water use by 96% compared to conventional meat production. And let's not forget about animal welfare. Every year, billions of animals are raised and slaughtered for food. Lab-grown meat offers a cruelty-free alternative, as it doesn't involve raising or killing animals. This ethical advantage is a huge selling point for many people. But it's not all smooth sailing. Lab-grown meat faces several challenges. Currently, it's expensive to produce, though costs are gradually decreasing. Public perception is another hurdle. Some people are hesitant to try lab-grown meat, viewing it as unnatural or unappealing. Plus, regulatory frameworks for approving and labeling these products are still being developed in many countries. Overcoming these obstacles will be crucial for lab-grown meat to become mainstream. Looking ahead, the future of lab-grown meat looks promising. As technology advances and production scales up, costs are expected to drop, making it more accessible. Major companies and startups are investing heavily in this field, aiming to bring lab-grown meat to your local supermarket and favorite restaurants. Some experts predict that within the next decade, lab-grown meat could become a common sight on our dinner tables. So, are you ready to eat lab-grown meat? It's a revolutionary idea that could transform our food system, offering a more sustainable and ethical way to enjoy meat. While there are challenges to overcome, the potential benefits are immense. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Would you try lab-grown meat? Why or why not? And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Special thanks to all the researchers and sources that made this video possible. Check out the links in the description for more information. Stay curious, stay informed.